Dodd, Mead & Company was one of the pioneer publishing houses of the United States, based in New York City. Under several names, the firm operated from 1839 until 1990. Topic: History. Topic: Origins. In 1839, Moses Woodruff Dodd (1813–1899) and John S. Taylor, at that time a leading publisher in New York, formed the company of Taylor and Dodd as a publisher of religious books. In 1840 Dodd bought out Taylor and renamed the company as M.W. Dodd. Frank Howard Dodd (1844–1916) joined his father in business in 1859 and became increasingly involved in the publishing company's operation. With the retirement of founder Moses Dodd in 1870, control passed to his son Frank Howard Dodd, who joined in partnership with his cousin Edward S. Mead (1847–1894), and the company was reorganized as Dodd and Mead. In 1876, Bleeker Van Wagenen became a member of the firm and the name was changed to Dodd, Mead & Company. Topic growth and prominence The company was well known for the quality of its publications, including many books on American history and contemporary literature. As a bookseller, the firm was a dealer and leading authority in rare books. As head of Dodd, Mead & Company, Frank Dodd established the Bookman in 1895, and the New International Encyclopedia in 1902. He was president of the American Publishers Association for a number of years. The firm built the Dodd Mead Building 1910 at the corner of 4th Avenue and 30th Street, and the 11 story building was heralded as creating a new trade center in New York City. Dodd, Mead and Company published the work of new poets including Robert W. Service, Bliss Carmen, and Paul Lawrence Dunbar. When Frank Dodd died in 1916, the partnership was dissolved and the business was incorporated. Dodd's only son, Edward H. Dodd, succeeded him as president. In 1922, Dodd, Mead and Company began a period of great expansion with the purchase of the American branch of John Lane Company, publisher of Anatoly France, William John Locke, and many prominent poets. Other authors included Aubrey Beardsley, Max Beerbohm, Rupert Brooke, G. K. Chesterton, Agatha Christie, Theodore Dreiser, and Stephen Leacock. In 1924 Dodd purchased Moffat, Yard & Co., adding books by William James, Sigmund Freud, and Carl Jung to their list. Dodd, Mead's new international encyclopedia was sold in 1931 to Funk and Wagnalls. In 1934 Dodd, Mead acquired Duffield & Green, publisher of Eleanor Glynn, Emma Gelders Stern, and General Krasnov, and the Sears Publishing Company. Dodd, Mead acquired the complete works of George Bernard Shaw. Topic. Acquisition and end In December 1981 Dodd, Mead and Company became a subsidiary of Thomas Nelson Inc. One of the last family-owned publishers in the United States, it was purchased for $4 million. The company was sold again in 1986, for $4.7 million. To retire some of its debt, the 149-year-old publishing house sold its greatest assets—the U.S. rights to books by Agatha Christie and Max Brand—to the Putnam Berkeley Group in 1988. The business operations of Dodd, Mead & Company were suspended in March 1989 pending the outcome of arbitration with its fulfillment house, Metro Services, Inc. By the end of 1990 the company ceased publications. Topic. Authors Authors' names are followed by their known dates of association with Dodd, Mead & Company. Edward Abbey Caroline French Benton 1901, Gala Day Luncheons Amelia Edith Huddleston Barr 1885-1911 Don Blanding 1928-1955 Max Brand Anna Alice Chapin, September 1912. Agatha Christie, 1922 to 1976. Winston Churchill. 
Paul Lawrence Dunbar, 1896 to 1914. Norman A. Fox, 1911 to 1960. Ernest Holmes, 1953 publication of The Science of Mind. W. W. Jacobs. Charles Kingsley. Ross Macdonald. Addison Meisner, 1932. Ruth Brian Owen, 1935 to 1942. John Cooper Powys, 1920 to 1925. Arthur Ransom, 1907, published his Bohemia in London. Vincent Scuro, 1974 to 1986. Robert W. Service, 1911 to 1954. Anthony Trollope. Bettina Riddle von Hutton. Topic. See also. Books in the United States. Equals equals notes. <laughs>